Good evening everyone. A quiet day of high school sports in the Upper Peninsula, but we did catch a baseball double header from Marquette as the Gladstone Braves visited the Redmen. Pick up the action in game number one and the Braves would start off well. Top of the first, Tyson Seymour. Fair ball down the third base line. Lucas Weiner comes around third and he will dash home with a slide and it's a one nothing lead for the purple and white. A.J. Lundberg. This chopper is going to get an RBI. Lundberg was safe at first. Seymour scored 2 0 Braves. Hunter Botroff passed third. Owen Hansen will get the green light to go home, and the Braves are up by three. Marquette's trying to make something happen in the bottom of the first, but Jared Crow would not allow it as he freezes Brendan Kasky for strike three. Bottom of the second, down 4 0. Alec Gadzinski, fair ball down the third base line. And Marquette finally has its first base hit. And it's only the bottom of the second, no big deal. Unfortunately, great defense by the Braves, including this catch by Clay Cole, ended the inning. The Braves go on to win game one, 8 0. Marquette bounced back and took game two, 3 to 2, in nine innings. High school softball. Rapid River sweeps a doubleheader from Menominee 6-3 and 6-0. An Upper Peninsula girls dream team basketball player has chosen to continue her career in the Lower Peninsula with a Michigan Interscholastic Athletic Association team. Munising's Frankie Matson signed a national letter of intent to join Division III Alma, the Scots, before family and friends just outside the school's gym. And that took place in the A-M, or morning. Matson helped the Mustangs do a 20-0 regular season by scoring nearly 19 points per game along with 11 rebounds, 4 steals, and 3.5 and assists. Matson earned 20 varsity letters in 5 sports. Now life will change a little. The coach contacted me after I played in a tournament downstate in Mount Pleasant. She actually got my number from my coach and the next weekend she contacted me. She wants me to maybe be like a 3-2, so I'm going to be switching positions, so that would be a big change for me. I think it would be nice just focusing on one thing and not having to worry about four other sports and different clubs, so I'm pretty excited to see how far I go in it. Matson playing on time, majoring in secondary education math. She will have an Upper Peninsula teammate joining her with the Scots, as Escanaba's Jenny Brandt previously signed with Alma. Finlandia will join the Michigan Intercollegiate Athletic Association as an affiliate member to the conference for football only, beginning with the 2018-19 academic year. The addition of Finlandia will give the MIAA eight institutions that sponsor football, including seven that are part of the current full membership, the three A's, Adrian, Albion, and Alma, along with Hope, Kalamazoo, Olivet, and Trine. Lions Athletic Director Curtis Wittenberg says the MIAA is not only the oldest collegiate conference in America, but it's a prestigious conference with a strong football reputation. The affiliate membership will strengthen the Lions Young Football Program, he adds, and probably make it so all of Michigan's NCAA Division III schools are competing in one conference. Northern Michigan's Samantha Johnson has earned second team All-American honors at the Division II National Championships in Bradenton, Florida. Johnson finished 12th in the shot put with a mark of 151 feet 10 inches. Johnson will leave Marquette as a three-time All-American in the event. Wildcat teammate Jasmine Williams finished 15th with an attempt of 150 feet 4 inches. A third Wildcat, Dana Shove, placed 22nd. And don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. Uh, by the way, NMU is really good at 15th right now because Menominee's Cameron Burmeister finished 15th in the 10,000 meter run <laughs> and Kieran Becker finished 15th in the 1600 meter run. So cool. that's, that's a little baffling, I know. MIHockeyNow.com has announced that the Tri-City Storm head coach, Bill McCult, has left the team for higher opportunities. We hmm. don't know what they are yet. Well, they could be taking over for Mel Pearson at Michigan Tech. Okay. Or they could be, <laughs> er, the, or he could join Mel down in Ann Arbor at the University of Michigan as an assistant coach. Okay. Those sound Things like good opportunities. to ponder <laughs> over your Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Mike.